Hi, my name is Robert Feranek and in this video I'll demonstrate how to generate basic uh, files for manufacturing and these files are Gerber files and drill files. Go to your job file. If you do not have job file then go to file, new, output job file. You will see something like this. Go to fabrication output at Gerber files, at real files. For some manufacturers, uh, you may want to generate ODB files, which are basically Gerber files or all in one. Go to configure. I use depends uh, how your PCB was designed. Mine was designed in millimeters. I use 424 because it's the uh, highest resolution and I want to print uh, almost all the layers. I don't want to have keep out layer, uh, mechanical one layer, keep out layer, top part master, bottom part master, I don't want this and uh, here you could add a layer to to each of them but I, I don't I don't usually use it now I leave all this as it is now okay for drills again millimeters and four to four and leave everything as it is. Go to generate, right click, setup. I us usually set it like this. I don't include generated files in project, but I use separate folder for each output. Okay, now click here and uh, we can generate the files. As you can see the output directory is uh, empty. Now I'll generate the files. Okay. And here you can see Gerber files, drill files. I have there more drill files because I used uh, micro IAS and buried bias, but generally it's only one file. To check the Gerber files, I use free version of UMate, and I'll, I'll just go import. Gerber files. I'll select all of them, all of them, Control A and import. Yes, and these are all the layers imported now here. Then I just switch off all of them and go through each layer and check the layers if they are okay. What I found very useful is add a special layer into each of my PCBs with manufacturing information. The manufacturing information is like, uh, for example, explanation of the files, of the Gerber files. Each Gerber file has different uh, extension and here is description for the file. And then uh, include some uh, board information as uh, is for example minimum track or gap, minimum bias and then some uh, information about PCB itself like uh, controlled impedance and, uh, and some other information. Also don't forget to add uh, board version and board name. I hope you found this video useful 
and if you are interested about hardware design or autumn designer you may find some interesting information on my uh, well done blog thank you very much for uh, watching